Did you get the package? In our first unit on St. Jude, St. Judas Thaddeus, as he is mentioned here, Judas of Jacob, the son of Jacob, we said that he received the package. He allowed his heart to be transformed to receive the gift of Jesus. And that led to completion. And we see the typical symbol of St. Judas Thaddeus. We see the hatchet referring to his martyrdom. Really with most of the apostles, with few exceptions, <clears throat> their subsequent life after, uh, as they finish their life is not 100% clear. There are a lot of traditions that have a lot of substance that lead to relative confidence about ways they ended their life. And their life was ended. They all died martyrs for Christ. They gave the ultimate witness. They're all different with different burdens, different limitations, and the grace of God triumphed in their lives. Their encounter with Jesus made a huge change in their lives, and they were molded into the 12, the 12 tribes being brought together. In the case of St. Jude, there's a letter that's called in English, the letter of Jude. It's the second last book of the Bible. It's really only one page. It's too much to call it a book, but that's the naming method. And it's right before the Apocalypse, the book of Revelation. And there we see uh, some polemical tones because of the errors of the times in a very strong language, which is not so customary today, in a certain sense, calling out uh, deviations with hard words. He called them in their dreamings, in their, they bring their waterless clouds, fruitless trees in late autumn, twice dead, uprooted, wild waves of the sea casting up foam. So maybe we could also recognize some features like this in our society, but normally we might have a different approach in the way we would address these topics. The letter of St. Jude uh, from a scholarly perspective, is very difficult to attribute exactly with certainty to this apostle, maybe to people who relied on him, or who were connected with him, who were, had been taught by him. What is very fascinating and the most famous lines, the most loved lines of this text are, to the one who is able to keep you from stumbling. What a way to talk about the Holy Spirit, to talk about Jesus, the one who is able to keep us from stumbling and to present you unblemished and exultant in the presence of his glory to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority from ages past now and for ages to come. Amen. This is a powerful text that's very well worth pondering and nourishing our heart and soul and mind with its concepts, its thoughts, its prayers. There's also a tradition uh, to present St. Jude with an image of Christ in his hand because famously it's attributed to him the bringing of the gift of Christ's image to King Abgar in Armenia that led to the first Christian defined nation, the Armenians. And this is the apostle in that linkage. Sometimes also St. Jude is presented with a flame over his head to remember the gift he received with the other apostles in Pentecost. And the devotion to St. Jude is very widespread, and there are wonderful works like St. Jude's Hospital, St. Jude's Care for the Sick, and then a lot of devotion to him when people are very discouraged because of that burden of association with Judas Iscariot, the difficulties of life, and people intercede, ask him to intercede for them. Uh, Thank you for being with us for part two of St. Jude as we go out into the deep with all of the, each of the apostles. 
and I invite you to come back for our next and second last apostle, St. Andrew. God bless you.